All right, so we're going to pull this transmission filter off. We're back here. Um, we're on the on the passenger side of the bus. Let's see if I can see what comes with my hand. Oh, it looks like it's bad. Alright, let me get that sucker to break loose. There she goes. So this is the, the transmission filter, I'm going to fill it, I'm pre-charging it, transmission fluid. I do this with the oil filters, any kind of filter you do, if you change it out, fill it up first with whatever fluid you know. We'll do the fuel fuel filters here in a little bit and fill them with diesel fuel before we put them back on. Especially with those, it helps with priming and getting it started again. So the other thing is when you once you get that transmission filter full. Alright, so once you get that thing full of fluid like that, then you want to make sure you take your finger and get some oil on this O-ring. You want to lubricate that seal. That when you tighten it up, it doesn't bunch up that O-ring. So I'll take this guy and get her. Means you want to bring it all the way around. So it's about three quarters of a turn is what they're looking for. That's about it right there. Well, that's a trans fluid change. Trans fluid filter. We're just changing the filter on it, so that's a recommendation. They ch you change the filter every so often, and then you change the fluid. All right, we're inside. This bus has an auxiliary air compressor right there. If you can, I uh, know it's backup line. I'm sorry. Uh, there it is, air compressor master. Um, so we're going to turn that sucker on, we're going to get some air, and we'll show you why. So this bus has an oil fill system. So this tank right here holds the oil, and it uses air pressure to actually force the oil out of the nozzle over there. So you fill the oil here, so we're going to put the oil in there, and then you got a, a nozzle right here. And you, this here tells you how many gallons of quartz that goes in, I think the powder one is quarts, yeah, and I think the little one counts gallons. You're supposed to be able to reset this little one, but for some reason it doesn't want to go. I don't want to force it, so we'll just watch the, we'll watch this guy and then we'll keep track of how many quarts go in. But we're going to give it a shot. That's why we're airing it up now, so the air will be used to uh, fill the system. Alright, we're filling this tank up with, this is 40 weight. 
Detroit oil. Power guard specifically made for two cycle Detroit. You can buy this at your local Detroit dealer. I'm guessing if it's the right oil. AB92 should take eight, uh, seven gallons of oil. double check it on a dipstick. I like to leave a little bit, like about a quarter inch above the, the low mark on the on the fuel because that's where it kind of likes to settle in once it starts using the oil. Alright so you gotta turn this switch on fills the tank up with air. You're supposed to wait till that red light comes on. Is that red light on? Yeah. Yes. So the red light's on. That means you can start adding oil. This thing I think is leaking pretty good here. That's nice. Set this counter to zero. Said so it says you can reset this one, but I don't. I don't know how you. I can't get it to move. And I don't want to break it, so. So we have to run this. It's pretty. It's full up to here right now. Um, you can see the full mark and the low mark. Typically, where these like to run is right about there. Like I said, about a quarter inch above the low mark. So that's where I usually fill mine because um, it'll burn it down to that point and then kind of stop. And it's pretty consent. It's a consensus among a lot of the old timers that fill it right about to there and. Uh, you should be good. Alright, so we pulled the old air filter out. You can see it's full of crap. We're going to put a new, new filter in. That gasket's going. It's also got a gasket here you got to remove and replace. It will come with the new filter. Uh, we're going to turn this upside down and clean it out. So this is the gasket that's got to go in here, inside the screws, the bolts. So make sure you get that on there, replace the old one. So new air filter. It's back in there. 
All right, we're gonna fire it up and run it for a little bit uh, so we get all the fuel to the system so we can change the fuel filters. Also, we check our coolant level and our oil level. And the batteries are low. Putting the new filter in, the old one's down there. A metal style. So we got to get this O-ring out of here. Place the O-ring on the cover. That o-ring comes with a new kit and then on here there's an o-ring on the base too got to get off it should both come with your filter and they come in a bag on there. This one goes in the cap. I always dip it down in the diesel fuel and the, you want to unravel it. Always get some diesel fuel on it. And put it back in the cover. Back on.